Okay, look, I know that this deck is going to suck, but I've been playing it and it's actually kind of working out. So here is the point of this deck. It's an Esper deck focused around just sweepers. We've got basically just a full range of, I don't know how many, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got 12 sweepers, which is kind of stupid, but uh, I do think that this deck is like kind of silly and fun. So we're just going to play this play this out for a few games, see how it goes. It, it literally is just to be silly. So uh, for early game interaction, we have Agonizing Remorse and Thought Erasure. Pretty standard uh, for these control decks just to get some cards out of the hand. Uh, on three, we've got two Mortifies as kind of like, if we can't sweep the board yet, this is just a way to manage the board kind of quickly. Uh, and with a lot of enchantments around lately, uh, Mortified does seem to be a good option. We've got four Teferi Time Reveler, just obviously an amazing card, something that we definitely need here. Uh, it gives us an option to bounce our creatures, then sweep if we would like as well. Uh, Narset just helps us dig to whatever card we need. Uh, for the sweeper package, so on four we've got three Kaya's Wrath and three Shatter the Sky. I'm doing a split here. Uh, mana is definitely a bit of an issue in this deck, but uh, I do think that it's worth it to split. So we're not going to be gaining a ton of life off of this, uh, but even one or two points is definitely worth it when uh, we get to turn four. Uh, Shadow of the Sky, obviously good in a situation where we have to kill one of our own creatures. It's like, yeah, okay, we can draw a card off of it. Uh, time Wipe is great, uh, hence running a four of, uh, just so we can bounce one of our four creatures here and then sweep the board. Uh, generally, we only have one creature on the board at any given time, so it's not uh, like we really care that we're sweeping off of that. Uh, Elspeth Conquers Death, another kind of like one-hit wonder where it comes in and just deals with one singular thing, but uh, it is lucrative. It hits a lot of things. It's any permanent with converted mana cost three or greater, so there's a lot of options there. Uh, and then it can also, of course, bring back bring back, wow, excuse me, uh, either Dream Trawler or Dream Eater, and then uh, if we don't have those, maybe one of our Planeswalkers. Uh, Planar Cleansing is a way to deal with, I, I only run a two of because they are more expensive, but it's a way to deal with the enchantment deck in particular, or like the adventure deck, uh, with things like Lucky Clover, uh, with Season of Growth, things like that. This deals with it all in one huge wipe, uh, and then we're done. Uh, and then that, that essentially shuts off those decks pretty quickly. Dream Tra Trawler, obviously one of the best control cards, uh, or creatures for a control deck, period. Uh, very difficult to deal with. Obviously gains us some of that life back as well, which is awesome. Uh, Dream Eater, kind of a little bit of a different way of playing. So this gives us an instant speed way to deal with some onboard stuff. Uh, if they're just swinging with a creature, we can flash this in, deal with it. Uh, I like that quite a lot, and it also does help us kind of uh, dig through our our deck a little bit, put some things in the graveyard if we want to have an Elspeth Conqueror's Death out, that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of testing with this. Uh, as far as our lands, pretty standard. Uh, we are missing a number of these temples, but uh, we do have one Castle Ardenvale as a way to just kind of pump out a few creatures uh, if we just have nothing else to do. So... Very silly deck, not really an amazing deck, but we're gonna we're gonna play a few games with it and just have some fun. This is a very silly one. Um, I love it. I've played it four times, won all four games, uh, just because there's an abundance of creature decks right now. So let's just sweep them up. So uh, also, uh, really quick, if you're interested in picking up the Patreon rewards that are uh, cycling down below, uh, please feel free to check out our Patreon. Uh, you can do that with the link down below as well. Um, we do run 26 lands in this, and therefore, this is a very sketchy keep, but I'm going to try it. Uh, probably not a good call, but we'll see. Uh, and I will... <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and do this now. What do we need? A little bit of everything. <laughs> uh, let's actually pull a white source here. Uh, the one thing that I don't know, we, we're not up against a control deck, which it looks like we are up now, uh, and so I'm a little hesitant to say that this is going to be good against this deck, but we're going to try it. It'll be fun. Uh, it's probably going to go fairly long, but, uh, that's not a bad draw. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll, we'll try and play this out. I'm assuming they have a counter, but that's fine. 
Uh, one thing to note, we do not run any counters. Uh, because we're playing so many Wrath effects, generally speaking, we just um, we, we play everything on our turn. Uh, we do have an answer for that, though, which is nice. And we're going to go ahead and just do this before they have the opportunity to, uh, to play anything out. Uh, did not draw a land there. Definitely not good, but we'll see what we can do. Ooh, second Kraken. Okay. Let's Agonizing Remorse here. And what do we want to take? They do have multiple counter spells here. That kind of sucks. I think we'll take the one of the Mystical Disputes, though. Uh, we need to get to, uh, well, multiple lands here. <laughs> uh, but if we can, we can sweep, uh, assuming that they can't counter. So we'll see. Not a land. Unfortunately, we're just hitting a, a bad draw here. And this was a bad keep, 100%. So They could easily Mystical Dispute here, though I don't know that they need to. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Well, we have burned the counters, which is good. Uh, but we are very far away from casting what we need to be casting here. Um, enters tapped. Uh, we can't play any of our sweepers this turn, so it doesn't matter. Uh, once we do get another land, hopefully, uh, we do have the option of either time wiping or depending on the land, Kaya's wrathing. Uh, so they're going to spit out another token here. That's fine. Spit out another token here. Five, six, seven, eight. So we're going down to one. Six, seven, eight. Oh no, I'm sorry. We lose. <laughs> yeah, they got it. All right, that was a quick game. Uh, interesting. I haven't seen the Kraken in this deck uh, before, but I do really like that. So, all right. Uh, very, very quick game one. Very, very silly. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get our lands. I think if we had, we would have been much, you know, we would have been okay, I think. Uh, they did have the counters, but uh, we'll run it back and try again. Um, this deck is not good, though. Uh, th there's no way that this deck is good. It's just silly. Just silly. Uh, and obviously, uh, we reset. We're back down to bronze, so go us. Um, ooh, some very good in-game stuff. Uh, we will keep this, though. <coughs> Excuse me. They mulligan down. Teferi into potentially Shatter, uh, depending on what they're playing, seems quite good. Um, really any creature deck this deck is sweet against obviously because it's just packed with sweepers so yep we'll keep a land on top we just need any land at this point so it's fine by me mono red let's go play temple what we got I actually don't think we want Elspeth Conqueror's death um Trying to think, they don't have a. T I mean, we could exile like an Ember Cleave, for instance, but we're going to be sweeping, ideally. Um, next turn, we play Teferi Bounce something, most likely. Yep. Take a little damage here, and then the following turn, we just Shatter. Okay. Play Teferi. We'll bounce the Steamkin. Draw our card. Kaya's Wrath. Great draw. Shadow of the Sky, great in this matchup, solely because they most likely will not be drawing a card off of it. They can take out Teferi here. That's fine. Perfectly fine. So next turn, we will probably just Shatter. Uh whatever they end up playing. If they get two creatures out, that's fine. Um, so we'll shatter. Then the following turn, we can leave up uh, Kaya's Wrath if we would like. Agonizing Remorse is quite good. Let's just go ahead and shatter here. Great thing about this deck, too, we can be very liberal with our, uh, our sweepers. We can just play them out as much as we want. Uh, they're also stuck on land, by the way, which is great. For us. Um, I kind of think we just want to Agonizing Remorse here. 
they do not have much. Um, double up on Ember Cleave. I don't really care about the Ben Crusher Giant, but I think we care about this the most, actually. <clears throat> uh, and we'll go ahead and play Narset here. Do we want another Kaya's Wrath? Or do we want Thought Erasure? I kind of think we just want Thought Erasure. Um, not too worried about... I mean, they can play some more stuff out here. <coughs> and that's fine. I'm in for it. Let's go. They can get this down to one, I assume. They did not just immediately play their land, so I'm assuming they didn't draw one. If we draw a land, we do have Dream Eater open to us. Um, potentially Thought Erasure and Kaya's Wrath. We'll, uh, we'll see what they want to do, though. <clears throat> I hate when this happens, though. I mean, it happened to us last game where you just don't draw lands. It sucks. Unfortunately, I think that's where the opponent is. Are they just timing out? I hate when they do this. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess they can actually just kill Narsa if they uh, did that, but I think they're just... <laughs> Please don't ever do this, by the way. Please don't ever just uh, get frustrated and time out. I understand the game is frustrating. Just concede if, you're, if you don't think you have a chance of winning. It's fine. Like... Pro players lose, what, 45% of their matches, generally speaking, or something like that. Like, it's it's a pretty normal thing. It's fine. They could have killed Narset, but that's fine. They also could have done more damage, but that's fine, too. Ah, okay. Yeah, that works. All right. Second Narset. I kind of want them to commit to the board a little bit more. Shock. I'm just going to take one of these Ember Cleaves here. Perfect. Land on top. Exactly what we needed. Hey, they got a land too. That's good for them. Um, so here they can play the Giants or they can use the Adventure on the Knight, uh, pump up Steamkin, and then also play the Knight. Uh, which will technically pump it up again, so they could do quite a lot there. <clears throat> Either way, I just kind of want them to put creatures out so we can Kai's <laughs> Wrath. Yep. Cool. Works for me. Let's go ahead and Kai's Wrath. So they do still have the knight here, which is fine. Uh, we get to Narset probably, and hopefully pull another Wrath. They did not draw land, otherwise I assume they would have played it here. We did, so that's good. Uh, let's Narset first. Knowing that this is most likely just going to get traded off is fine though. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'll let this enter tapped. Uh, I could have shattered this guy here. Uh, don't really think I need to. If they draw another creature, let him commit. We're not in danger of necessarily losing right away. So uh, it doesn't look like Ember, Ember Cleave is coming out anytime soon. Uh, what would be really nice is like a planar cleansing maybe. Uh, just as backup, so like, if they do for some reason get Ember Cleave out, but I don't think that's going to happen. Perfectly fine, saving ourselves some damage here. I 
they got anything? Shock me, okay. Ah, okay, yeah, cool. Get a land, they can bone crush or giant me. So next turn, we do have options. Yep. I might just leave up Dream Eater. I mean, the other option is to play Dream Trawler, uh, which does have lifelink. Maybe that's better. Yeah, let's do that. Play out Godless Shrine. If they target it with anything, I'm okay sacking or getting rid of maybe one of these cards. Uh, probably the Dream Eater. Um, does mean, obviously, we're down on resources pretty heavily, though. We're going to need to start gaining some life pack is the, the thing here. Uh, which, thankfully, Dream Trawler does exceptionally well. What you got, opponent? What you got? Also, we would be able to draw a card off of Shatter if we do play it. Yep. Uh, not going to do that. Okay, yeah. My turn. Oh. Well, that's lovely. Um, can I do... Oh, well, okay. Perfect. And I guess technically we can just go ahead and run out to Fairy too. <coughs> We'll plus that up. Cool. Drew a land, that's fine. See what they got. Okay. I mean, Embercleave, they're getting close to just being able to hard cast Embercleave, so like, oh, well. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> Take that out. Um, don't think we care about that. Yeah, let's go ahead and play Dream Trawler out. They know we've got it, so let's just... Uh, let's bounce this. Just so they can't attack this turn. Elspeth. Cool. All right. Well, we're definitely in pressure mode now. Uh, so we're just looking to close out the game at this point. Uh, they can, you know, keep playing creatures, do their thing. That's fine. Um, but we certainly have answers to a lot of what they're doing. So not a huge problem. Uh, if they draw a shock or something, they can certainly get rid of Teferi. But we do have Elspeth Conqueror's Death to help us with that. Uh, we have Narset in the grave and another Safari, so we have got options. Yeah, sure. Yep. Mm hmm. Don't know why they did that. Okay, they just conceded. Cool, so we did win. Uh, you can see how just repeatedly sweeping the board is very fun. Um, so uh, we'll go through one more game, uh, see if we can get two wins out of this. Again, this deck is just silly. It's just fun. It's something I literally just kind of put together this morning uh, just, to, just to see what would happen. So Esper Sweepers deck. Very, very silly. 12 sweepers in a deck. How excessive can we be? Oh, this is a great hand. Yeah, absolutely. Against mono red again? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. 
Sky one. We'll keep the Kai's Wrath. Uh, backup Sweeper, always good. Next turn, we Thought Erasure. Oh, Rakdos, okay. Uh, next turn, we Thought Erasure. Turn three to Fairy, ideally. Um, and then we Shatter the Sky. Wow. Yeah, dealing tons of damage. Now, we are obviously going to take two here, which is not ideal, but... Get that out of the hand. We don't want that. Okay. So next turn, if they buff this up, we just bounce it uh, on our following turn and then loses all the counters, obviously. We are on an, under a lot of pressure here, but uh, assuming we can get to, to the right lands here, we'll be good. Oops. We are going to have to take two in the process, which I don't like, but... Let's bounce the knight. Draw ourselves another land. So next turn we Fabled pas Passage, excuse me, into either Kaya's Wrath or Shatter. I'm gonna go with Shatter first if I can, uh, if they don't have anything that has, yeah, perfect. So we'll Shatter first. Gonna be able to deal some damage here, but uh, we should be able to stabilize, hopefully. The problem with this deck is obviously all these hasty creatures, so it makes it very difficult for us to uh, deal with things right off the bat, but that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and do this. What do we need? Um, I'm gonna get second, like, plain white source, and then we'll just shatter here. They draw no cards off of it. Uh, don't remember, so we don't know what their land is. They do draw cards, excuse me, off of Midnight Reaper, I should say. Um, don't like that, but it is what it is. We have follow-up Kaya's Wrath. <clears throat> Ooh, good one. Don't know if we'll be able to win this, but we'll certainly try. Mm -hmm. That Midnight Reaper was very clutch for them just because they got to draw so many cards off of it. They may be a little worried to overcommit now. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Don't think we want that. Let's go ahead and shatter again here. <clears throat> My assumption is if they had another haste creature, they would have done something. Oh, that was a mistake, but that's fine. Uh, they do get to draw a card off of this. Should have Kaya's Wrath, but that's nah, fine. Oh, we just lose. <laughs> Duh. Oh, man. Well, that was just a misplay. Uh, I think they would have won it anyway, but uh, did you have fun? Yeah, I did. It was just a bad match. Uh, so this was a very silly deck. We're going to probably swing another video with this one, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below uh, and leave any silly deck suggestions in the comment section. I would absolutely love to see that. So uh, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.